ever! Then it's a good thing they don't have cloaking tech and it's just plain old empty. How do you know that they don't have cloaking tech? Because last I checked, this wasn't Star Trek. Sorry, you're right. Getting a little paranoid here. We should check the other wings. Sounds good, but I want to make sure he doesn't sneak past us while we investigate. Why do you have salt? Is it for ghosts? Does salt work on ghosts? Not that I know of. I use it for ice and stuff when I'm spelunking. Throw a bit evenly across the ground in front of the door and we'll know if it gets opened. Good. Let's check on the others. You know, the best idea might be to just get up and go. Not without at least looking for the woman. And definitely not with those other two being idiots and staying here. It's hard to argue with that logic. Then let's go! Sure thing. Who you want to check out first? Uh, which do you think is in greater danger? <laughs> Honestly, us. Not even making a joke this time, but out of the four of us, who is most likely to be shot without provocation? Just asking. And again, between the four of us, which one is risking drawing a lot of attention to herself by live-streaming a potential clandestine government operation? Oh, yeah. Good point. Thanks for that. It's okay. Seems like my job today is to keep things scary. All right. Where do I go next? Are you serious? I get a response to that? If I get on the internet and find out you all didn't call the police, I'm quitting streaming and going back to work at local commodity exchange. Uh, something wrong? Just streaming being wonky. Let's go check on Owen first. So, is this how you expected to be scared on your Halloween night? No, but I can also safely say it's not my worst. Really? A murder isn't your scariest Halloween? None really. You wanna expand on that for our viewers at home? <laughs> not particularly. Fair. I can't force you. But don't you wanna be famous? Not even a little. Fine. Alright, welcome to the... Oh, it's you two. <laughs> Good to see you, too. Have you seen anything? Did anything at your party get disturbed? No, the only thing getting disturbed is me by you. How can I throw a party with you trying to scare people with some dumb murder story? You think I made that up? Cha, do you think I'd actually be setting up for a party if I thought there was a real murder? No way, brah. If there was someone murdering people, I'd be moving this party to somewhere a little less likely to include gunfire. Bruh, I'm not dumb. You seem pretty dumb. Don't be rude, Holmes. Fine, uh, do you think he came this way? No, I'm 100% sure no one came this way. After getting back, I made sure to look everywhere for arrivals, but no one was here yet. Such a buzzkill. Okay. Uh, I mean, suppose if you haven't seen anything... Viewers, did you see anything on our way here? Didn't you say they weren't responding? I get something every once in a while. They told me to check here after all. You lads and ladies better have called the police by now. Speaking of which, why haven't you gone and called the police? Do you think I'm lying too? I think I already made my stance on the police very clear. That and I think you saw a ghost, not a murder. Really? A ghost? Now, I make a living off of playing video games, so realize who is saying this when you hear it. I think you have been playing too many video games. Look, I'll confess something to you. And my viewers. I had no illusions. I fully expected to find nothing except for a few jump scares and false positives. 
I don't actually believe in ghosts. And I believe I told you earlier this place is actually haunted. You think I would say that if I didn't think ghosts were real? Yes! In fact, I think there's several industries built on that very concept. I believe in ghosts. And I think you saw one. Maybe even two. Oh, sure. Why not? Come on, let's go check on Raven. I think I've played too many video games. I can't just leave after seeing something like that. Yeah, well, smart thing to do would be to run. Either you've got a murderer or a ghost. Either way, it's not something you're exactly equipped to deal with. No, that's cool. I got my photon beam pack in a trunk. Have you actually even seen the movies? Dear lads and ladies, please forgive my heresy, but I've only seen the 2016 version. <laughs> Could be worse. Could have only played the video game. The video games are good. Shouldn't be surprised to hear that from a streamer. You know, we've been walking and talking for a while, but I haven't seen any sign of Raven. <laughs> Maybe she took flight. Ha ah, ha very punny. Raven! Raven! This is one of the bigger wings of the hospital. I spent a long time here earlier, searching for a way to the basement. I thought you said it was flooded. I was hoping some part wasn't. Anyway, we should split up if we want to look for her. her and the killer, too. Are you, uh, sure we need to split up? I thought you said you were equipped to deal with a killer. I said I had an electron pack, not a way to deal with the murderer. You'll be no worse off than you were when you decided to stay here. Just scream real loud if you start getting shot. Oh, sure. Like you wouldn't hear the gunshots. I gotta be honest, I'm starting to regret my decision to stay. Could someone remind me why I haven't run for the hills yet? Oh yeah, because I can't leave that dumb girl or that idiot frat bro here to get ganked. Seriously, this is like the plot to a bad B movie. Let's just ignore the only one who has any sense. We sure won't get murdered. Okay, yeah, I really don't have an excuse to talk. I just don't want to find out Raven or Owen, even though I literally only just met them, died because I left them here alone. You shouldn't be worried about us. Raven? This is not a place for you. What is that supposed to mean? It means that this is not a place for you. You should not stay here. I can't argue with that. We should leave. You should come help me convince Owen, too. No, this is not a place for you. This is our place. <laughs> is this some kind of joke? I'm having a real hard time reading this conversation. Do you know of the first death in this hospital? No, but I have a feeling you're going to tell me. A bird. No suffering patient. Just an idiot bird who landed in setting cement. A fossil before its time. Okay, what does that have to do with anything? It was the first thing to die here. Okay, how about we pause your audition for an extra in a horror movie and focus on getting you out of here. But I haven't told you about all the other deaths that have happened here. That's nice. Let's get out of here. Andy, I found Raven! That's great. Well, let's get out of... Did she just do the superhero thing? Not the one with the landing, the thing where they disappear when you look away for a second. I always found that whole thing sort of contrived. Shows what I know. Where's Raven? She ran off. At least she's fine. No sign of your murderer. 
My conversation with Raven makes me think that whole thing was some contrived prank. I'm certainly starting to wonder about the murderer. Huh. I'm done. This joke is getting out of hand. I'm leaving. Probably for the best. Are you staying? Yeah. At least until the cops arrive. After your whole spiel about not liking them? Didn't say I'd say hello, but I'll wait till they get here for you. Yeah, I'll call them as soon as I get a real signal again. Might be doubling up unless my viewers are sadists, but... Yeah, I get you. Stay safe, you hear? Can do. Help me! You again? You're alive? He's right behind me! He wants to kill me! You already pulled this stunt with me once. I am not buying it. Do you have any idea how badly you scared me? <laughs> Will you cut that out? I, I get it. This is some tootin' prank. I'm talking to you! Oh, no. What is... What is going on? Okay. Maybe this isn't a prank. He's right behind me! He wants to kill me! It's a loop. Help me! What is happening? What? She died a long time ago. They're ghosts? No. No, it's just her. The man isn't there. Not even in the sense of a dead spirit. It's all just a shadow. The trauma from when she died. He shot me. No. You just stood in the middle of a shadow play. They can't hurt you. How? 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 You know all of this. I told you before, I'm here for the ghosts. This isn't exactly my first haunting. You... you're acting like this is normal. Do you really think it's so abnormal? Even after seeing it? After coming here specifically for this? Why would you want to tell me all this? Don't you want to keep something like this secret? I'm broadcasting to the entire world! Come on. You think ghosts would be a secret if something like that worked? I can't say what you're broadcasting, but it isn't this. He's right behind me! He wants to kill me! What's to stop me from running away and telling the whole world what I've seen? Uh, common sense? I can prove it if I bring someone here. Won't work. Hauntings are rarely this explicit. Or passive, for that matter. I doubt she'll be here tomorrow. But I can't just... I can't just forget about this. Ghosts are real. The afterlife is real. I'm an atheist. Or, well, I was, like, five minutes ago. Sure. It's not hard to walk away from this. One frightening event doesn't need to walk your life. But it did for you, didn't it? It might have. He's right behind me! He wants to kill me! Something about tonight is causing everything here to become more active. Wouldn't it be because of, you know, Halloween? Wouldn't be possible. Wouldn't be any more likely than any other day of the year, though. Flooding's gone. You should leave now. Unless you want this to be part of your life, now is the time to go home. I'm going to the haunted basement. Help me! Okay, ghosts are real. This place is actually haunted. There's a woman behind me dying on repeat, and the thing that bothers me most is who have I been talking to? I've seen responses. You've told me what to do. Who are you? Are you a ghost too? Yeah, you would shut up at such an important time. So tell me, oh ghost ex machina, what should I do? Should I listen to Andy and leave? Or should I do what I want to do and follow him? Yeah, yeah, I just needed to hear someone say it. Even if, objectively, I shouldn't be listening to you, Ghost Ex Machina. 
but just like before, I couldn't forget this. It would stick with me. <laughs> it would haunt me. <laughs> me. Oh, give it a rest. Let's go. Okay, if these were flooded earlier, it's impossible to tell. This place looks as clean as if the hospital were still active. That's... that's actually more spooky than if it were properly worn. Alright, here I go. Switch into night mode, yeah! Well, that didn't help at all. It's darker than black. It's Vonta Black in here! <laughs> Not even scared, just seriously thinking about turning around considering how dark it is. What's that, Ghost Ex Machina? Someone... behind? The patient is taking well to the treatment. They are beginning to respond to phenomena our instruments can only barely detect. Currently, the only manifestations of concern are the infrequent losses of lucidity. So have you heard of that new show, Survivor? The patient entered cardiac arrest when moved to the old burn ward. At the same time, our instruments spiked wildly. No phenomena were visually, audibly, or somatically observed by the men save for a bird that seemed to have been distressed by the same event. Where am I? What's going on? Why can't I move? We will be storing her in the mortuary freezer. What? No! No! No, please! I can't stand that! Please, I'm not dead! No! No! I'm alive. What the rice pudding was that? No response, gals and ghouls? I can't believe I didn't think of that one immediately. Way better than Ghost Ex Machina. You, you shouldn't, shouldn't have, have done, done that. that. Oh, my goodness. You, you took, took a, a grip, grip on the veil, veil and with one fell swoop tore it away. You could, could have, have walked, walked away before, before but, but now... Our world, world is your own! own. Hey, lads and ladies. Sorry about the live stream. Yeah, the entire thing got messed up. Apparently there were seriously bad wiring, basically creating a huge EMP field on the building. I spent so long scaring myself that I didn't even realize there was a problem until I left. Even the footage is corrupt. It's too bad you guys missed out. This is terrifying. I grabbed a couple dozen cookies from Star Chips as a treat for myself after the whole experience. It was... Just a sec, this screen is being weird again. It must be still messed up from the hospital. Man, I guess I'm still on edge. I'll be right back. Could you, like, open the door for me? These cookies would be, like, perfect for my party, brah. <laughs> 